Buddy, what are you doing? Doing a little gun cleaning since I haven't done this in about a year and a half and duck opener is tomorrow, so I figured it's a good time to do that. Are you using like actual gun cleaner though? Nope, I'm actually using Slim Jim grease. You're doing that all wrong with that gun cleaner, bud. Wanna see how you should clean a gun? That's how you clean a gun, bud. Right on, brother. Do an apartment pop, bud. Pop one off. There you go. Pop it off. Don't think, just Don't go. Think. Here we go. Do it, yes. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Ow. Oh, oh. How's she feel, clean? Let's just say that Slim Jim grease did the job. What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, make sure you go down below this video and click on that subscribe button. This evening, as you can see, me and John are just finishing up cleaning the old guns here. I clean mine about once a year and this is like the annual cleaning before duck opener, which is tomorrow morning, and me and John are super excited to get out in the morning. So I drew another license for South Dakota, and I'm gonna be hunting with John and Sam down there. It's just gonna be me and John tomorrow morning, and I believe Sunday morning, and then Sam's gonna meet up with us after that for a few days, and we're all gonna be hunting together. But me and John were out scouting the other day. He went out in the morning and found a spot and got permission on it before I got up here, and then once I arrived, we went out for another scouting mission and unfortunately didn't find too much more but that spot that he had permission on was pretty loaded up with ducks so that's what we're gonna do in the morning we're gonna head out to the spot we have permission on then we're just gonna kind of freelance around South Dakota and do some hunting here for the next couple of videos but with that said we're gonna get everything else we have to get ready ready and uh, finish packing the truck up a little bit and then we're gonna head out in the morning and we will see you guys once we arrive to the field This guy with the bazooka. Bah! Did I scare you? I'm resing Nick. I'm resing Nick right now because he died. Oh no, this guy, hold up. Oh my god, are you recording this? Are you recording this, Luke? Oh, another one? Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Oh my god, right, dude. Yeah. I was just going off though. You had to miss it. Come on. Well, I was just trying to scare you. Okay, now I can actually hear you. Oh, good. Holiday always just bumping music in the morning. I don't know. At 4.30 I ask myself that every time I pull up. I think what you ask yourself is why? Why would one stay up till 3 a.m. gaming? Well, that's an easy question. When you're a demon, you have to. Hey, why are we here? Another layman having to fight demons? Yep. Before hunting? This is, it's funny, this is right across the border and all the boys always make a stop here. It's coffee, stop here, and then kill birds. It's not, it's not all the boys, it's literally just here. Nope. No, it is literally just here. See ya, bud. Good luck in there, brother. Good luck. See ya! All right, you guys, well, we just figured out where we wanted to set up here and got our decoys out. We got about two dozen floaters. We got one spinning wing out, which probably is not even needed right now. And we got our Die Bomb Industries kickbacks laid out with our ghillie blankets. And we're all set up, ready to go. We'll show you the spot, what we're working with here in a little bit. But right now, it's literally shooting time right now. John just parked the truck and there's ducks coming in from every direction. But we wanted to get a little bit lighter. It looks light at this angle, but 
it is still pretty dark. It just hit shooting time, and we want to be able to see what we're shooting at and get some good footage for you guys. So we're going to give it a little bit. I'm going to film some of these ducks with the big camera, and this is going to be a pretty good hunt for me and John, I'm thinking. Johnny goes back. I think we're gonna shoot something today, John? Yeah, it's just non-stop mallards dumping in right now. Yeah, they, yeah, there's lots of ducks. Lots of ducks. If you yeah. yeah, let me throw let me throw earplugs in if you First shot to the season. <laughs> oh, I did miss. Oh my god, I can't hit you now. Dang, boy. Bro, I can't hit anything. I gotta focus up here. Holy cow, fellas. Um, All right, I got the GoPro on. I gotta pick the gun up once and show John how to do this. I gotta show John how to do this one, too, guys. We shall. Kill him. Yeah, baby. I went two for two. Right hey, John, oh. I'm sorry, but I had to put a little I, clinic on for you that there. That was lit, bro. I think I aimed at every bird you aimed at, and you killed it right as I shot. <laughs> so that is lit. Uh, hey, the hide okay. worked better. Yes, and the hide, I did that hide update, beautiful. Ducks dumped in perfectly. Hide's beautiful. Sick. They, they came from a high ways up, too, yep. bro. You shall. Me? Yeah. We all have a little bit of rust today. <laughs> <laughs> right that, on. Right on. That oh. was very embarrassing. Hey, we've been there, brother. Been there. That, that was embarrassing. All right, so me and John, we kind of had a little lull there. We had those birds right in the morning when John parked the truck. Ton of action. I didn't really want to start shooting. I wanted to wait for John and wait till he got here and set up before I started banging at everything. So that's what I did. And then once he got set up, he missed a few as you guys saw. And the ducks kind of slowed down. So now we're just kind of waiting for them to get back from feeding or whatever they're doing right now and kind of come back to hang out in water here. But we had that one group do it nice after we just kind of moved the spinning wing up to center the birds up because we had a little wind switch. And then we also got our blinds, the kickback, all nice and stubbled in. So we got some reeds around us and we're looking really good now. We were not looking too good this morning, but everything's looking nice now for hide and those birds did not seem to care. We got a young drake there that I showed John how to shoot this morning. Right then on, I, Then brother. I also did a three shell whiff. That was absolutely <laughs> embarrassing. So I'm sorry I did that. Right on. But I did get two ducks. We have one more somewhere. Where's the other one? And then I also shot another young drake because you know just a bunch of guys in sitka shooting drakes 
Also, we are rocking the Tidewe waders today. You guys probably saw these in the videos last year and these things are still holding up. This is the first time I really got to break them out this season. We haven't done too much water hunting yet, but these things are very nice waders, very affordable. So if you guys are in the market to check out some new waders, Tidewe offers a lot of different stuff that is very affordable. Also, they do make waders for kids. So if you guys got some youngins that you're taking out hunting, some little guys, they do make youth sized waders. They're one of the only companies that makes waders in that small of a size. So that is a very cool thing about Tidewe. So if you guys wanna check them out and look at some new waders for this season, make sure you guys go down in the description and click on that link that says Tidewe. You guys will get 18% off if you use code BWFILMS at checkout and you'll have some nice waders for this season. They're gonna come right by me. Shall we? We shall. Okay, well, it's been kind of slow, but it's another mallard down for me. And I gotta take a little walk here because it went down in the good old cattails. Hey. All right, well, I just got back to the blinds. I ended up getting the one other mallard that I shot. That took me a while. And then we got one hen redhead, which is this duck that I shot as I was looking for that other mallard. So we got both ducks there and we actually decided since that group that you saw of the mallards that I shot, uh, they didn't come in too well. Nothing really, wa there's not too much water in front of us. They were kind of sitting here midday. Okay, sorry for the interruption. But where I was out there where I shot that hen redhead, that's where all the ducks want to go. There's way more water out there. We kind of knew there was a lot more water out there, but there was a lot of ducks that would sit on this and kind of like loaf midday and sit on this little sandbar here in the mud. So that's why we decided to do this spot. But now that they're not really wanting to come in with the sun being up, uh, we're going to decide to move out to a little bit deeper water onto the big water. And we're going to take a walk through the cattails with about a half dozen decoys and a spinning wing. And we're going to try to grind out the rest of our limit. So, so far I have three mallards and one hen redhead. So that puts me at four ducks so I'm getting close to my limit I only have a couple more ducks unless we get some bonus teal but otherwise John has six ducks to shoot and I'll probably just film him shooting those if it turns out to uh, be that good out there all right well me and John just got out here this is the bigger water we were talking about and we literally brought the spinning wing and four floaters that's all we have I don't think we're gonna need much out here so we just got everything set up I'm gonna load up the old trusty Stoger here and then we're gonna see if I can scratch my last two big ducks and then also there was some teal out here so if some teal do come in I can get two bonus teal green wingers or blue wingers so hopefully we can get some teal then I could shoot four more ducks otherwise I'm just gonna shoot my two big ducks and then I'll probably get the big camera out and film a little bit for John because he still has six ducks to shoot we could do that Hey, was that a teal? Oh, it's not alive. Hey, brother, I'm on the board, brother. Right on, boys. Right on. Hey, what you know about a blue wing teal, brother? No way. No way. Dang, they just dipped out on us. No oh, way, single. Bro. So that was too close. I'm like, I can't shoot yet. That was so close, dude. 
that a widget? That is a widge. Nice brother. Right on. <laughs> right on. <laughs> All right. Well, it has been pretty slow. We did get some cloud cover to roll in, and me and John have just been waiting to grind her out. I just shot one more of my big ducks, so I have one big duck left, and uh, then we might pack it up. I don't know if John's going to stay to try to get his limit or nope. not. He's kind of just like... I got Slim Jims to eat, brother. He's just like, get your limit. So I guess that's what we're doing. But let's go check this widge out, baby. Oh, three ducks coming up the pipe, up the pipe, right up the pipe. Hmm. Oh, it's still alive. Oh, it's still alive. First widgeon of the season, and I got one duck left. Oh, we beat him up today. Yup. <sighs> yep. Can't win them all, bud. Unless your name is Corey Loeffler, Joe Hines, or Smack em Outdoors. All right, everyone. Well, me and John just got done picking up, and we we, we stayed out here for quite a while. It's like probably 12 o'clock right now, something like that, quarter to 12, and we've been giving her. I was trying to just shoot my last duck, and it didn't work out. I think I missed one, one duck, and... John didn't really shoot at anything else here. He, he kind of gave up a while ago on this, but we ended up coming back and we laid in the kickbacks again and we tried to hunt over here for a little bit longer and it just didn't happen, but you can't win all of the hunts. I was one bird away from my limit, so I have nothing to complain about. And if we started shooting right away in the morning when I was just videoing with the big camera for you guys, I definitely could have shot my limit right there and John also could have shot his. So there's no complaints from either of us, but hopefully we get on something a little bit better. We're gonna be hunting the next four days out here we have the kayaks on the trailer as you can see back there and we're gonna be doing some kayak hunting so we're gonna do a little bit of that and then maybe if we can find some feeds we might do a little bit of duck and goose hunting in a field if we can find a feed but that is going to wrap up today's video we ended up with seven ducks nothing crazy but still a fun morning for duck opener so with that said if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure you guys click that like button comment down below this video and subscribe to the channel down below this video and we will see you all on the next one See ya! See ya!